right, Coach Turgeon and the Maryland Terrapins are uh, joining us on the dais now after a 79-77 win. Coach, if you could, just some opening comments about what turned out to be a fantastic basketball game today. Yeah, it was a, a terrific game. Um, I'm just really proud of my team. We were unbelievably resilient. Um, we didn't shoot the ball well in the first half. Uh, they made some shots. They're a heck of a team. Uh, we beat a, a really good team today. Um, and then we were really good to finish the half and really good to start the half. And then Wendler went crazy, uh, making some really tough shots. And uh, obviously, they're extremely well coached. But we got down four. Daryl hit a big three in the corner, cut it to one. And I felt pretty good about things. Um, you know, uh, we've really been working on turnovers. We had five turnovers for the game. We had two against the press um, in the first half. And so we only had two in the second half. So we, we really did a terrific job there. Um, there's, there's a reason they're the second um, highest scoring team in the country. They're almost impossible to guard. Uh, fortunately for us, we got the big Matt. I don't want him to try to say his last name in, in foul trouble. And I think that helped us um, guard him a little bit better during certain stretches. But I thought Bruno was great against the double team. I thought Daryl was terrific all night. Eric hit some big shots, and Sticks just wouldn't be denied. He just kept getting offensive rebounds. And um, we had a size advantage there, and he took advantage of it. And just a great win. Just, just a, I told the guys, just an honor and a privilege to be a part of a game like that this time of year. And to come out on top uh, makes it real special. Coach, thank you. Let's start off with questions for the players. We'll get them out of here, and we'll get some questions for the coach coming up. If you have a question, raise your hand. We'll get a microphone to you. Let's start off with Clayton on the left. Yes, sir. Uh, Clayton Freeman with the Florida Times Union. For Darrell, um, I mean, you had several you know, huge plays down the gave you know, put Maryland on top. Um, you know, how were you able to, to come through with this, especially after Belmont had – you rallied back from the fort. You, you went in that fortunate run. They rallied back. Uh, how were you able to keep things going in these last couple minutes? Uh, just mental toughness. Uh, it's something we harp on all the time as a team. Uh, we got to be mentally tough to win these type games. What did you see in the last, in the last um, steal? What did you say? What did you see in the last steal the last with, steal. with two minutes to get, or with two seconds to go? Um, Coaches were screaming back door. Uh, <clears throat> I kind of knew it was coming, but Eric right here, he got his hand on the ball, which helped me a lot. Uh, nah, I, I got the steal. Any questions for the players? We'll go on the right side. Yes, sir. Well, I asked this to Mark, but uh, Don Mark's Baltimore son. Daryl, did you miss that on purpose to, to set up the, the uh, long shot, or did you not hit the free throw? No, nah, I, I just missed that. I didn't miss it on purpose. Okay. They iced me. Questions for the point here in the middle in the aisle, please. Uh, Lamar Johnson, Tessio Times. Uh, it's the first game you all have played in the tournament. How was it? What was the environment like? How did it take? Uh, how was it getting adjusted to it? And when did you guys really feel like this was your time? Uh, it felt great to be out there. Um, you know, just to be able to play. Uh, like like we say all the time. You know, we we got to be happy and excited, you know, this time of the year, not a lot of teams get to play and be here today. And we just got a, a win, you know, we, we, we passed in the next round. So, you know, it's, it felt great to be out there and just play as a team. Um, I think we did a lot of great things on the court, like Coach already mentioned, and just have fun. I think we had a lot of fun tonight um, out there on the floor and just help each other win. Back left, yes, sir. Wayne Viner, Terp Talk. Uh, Bruno, you seem to have great awareness of the double teams coming. How much preparation did you do, and how did you hear them coming so quickly? Um, the past two days uh, when we practiced, we obviously, you know, every time all year, basically, we've been doing a lot of double teams our practice, so I kind of got used to it. And uh, their double team was a lot different today. You know, they came like, uh, like the best was in the area, and they're already right there, the double team. So I just had to make sure I'm patient, and I, I see the double team coming and find the open, open, open guy every time. Last couple questions for the players. We'll go here on the right side. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Daryl, how, how difficult was it to, to stay in front of Windler? Some of the shots he hit were, you know, step back threes from 30 feet. What is it like when you play against a guy like that? And, and also, did that, you know, make you aggressive on offense? I mean, you seem to really go, want to go back at him. 
Um, <clears throat> Dylan Willis is a phenomenal player. Uh, he can score at all three levels. Uh, today he found his rhythm early. Uh, he was hitting some big shots, some step backs, some fadeaways. Um, <clears throat> but I just stuck with it. My teammates, Bruno, Eric, Anthony, all of them kept picking me up, telling me, keep guarding, keep guarding. We're going to find a way to win this game. Um, and offensively, uh, I just try to find, find ways to impact the game. Um, I seen them double teaming Bruno. That gave me opportunities to cut in the lane. Uh, we was getting stops defensively, which allowed me to get out in transition and stuff. Uh, it's just a credit to, to my teammates for all the success I had. Final two questions for the players here in the front and then go in the back next. Yes, sir. Uh, Glenn Gilbo, USA Today Network in Louisiana. Uh, Daryl, what, uh, what do you think of the matchup with LSU? Have you seen them play or know any of their players? Uh, we watched a little bit of them before we came over here. Uh, I know they did real well in the SEC. Um, <clears throat> well, right now, we're just going to enjoy this win. Uh, that's, that's Coach Turgeon. We'll talk with Coach Turgeon and the coaches later on tonight, probably about LSU. But uh, right now, the, uh, us guys, it's our first postseason win, so we're going to enjoy this, man. Final question for the players in the back, yes. Wayne with Turp Talk, Eric Ayala. Early in the game, when Maryland was trailing, you got a lot of the offensive load. Is that something that you're used to taking? There are a lot of hard takes to the basket. And then playing the primary point guard, you had some very balanced scoring. Can you talk about your first half takes to the basket and how you distributed the ball in the second half? Um, just playing a well-rounded game, uh, just letting the game come to me. Um, my teammates, my coaches trust me uh, to go out there and you know, do what I'm capable of. And um, you know, whatever I can do to help us win, you know, uh, win isn't at the, winning is at the forefront for me. So whether that's rebounding, passing, defending, you know, I'll do whatever to help us win. Guys, thank you very much. Congratulations. Uh, a few more minutes with the head coach here. And if you have a question for the coach, we'll get a mic to you. We'll start here on the aisle, coach. Uh, Barry Spurlinger from the Washington Post. Mark, I wonder personally how much pressure you might feel in such a, a game that comes down to essentially a possession. Um, pressured because the game's close. Yeah, um, yeah. You, you, you know, you get second guess pretty good this time of year, so you want to do all the right things. Um, but no, I, you know, I tell you what, I feel so lucky to just be a part of a game like that. You work your whole life to be a part of it. Any game you can win this tournament's great. Um, and just, I'm just so proud of my group. We just, we gutted it out. We just kept battling. We kept battling. We kept battling. We played with great poise offensively. Defensively down the stretch, we were just good enough. So, yeah, am, am, is my heart rate, that, you know, like I'm sleeping? No. Um, but I, um, I just love it. I just, I just love I just love it. It's so much fun. To the right side, yes. Mark, talk about Jalen's second half playing with fouls yeah. and, and, and also sort of basically taking over <laughs> inside, which we haven't seen all, a lot this year in, in some games, but in, on this kind of stage, how, I mean, how big was that for him? And, and, and obviously, how um, did it translate to the, to the end of the game? Yeah, so Don, you're from Baltimore. You can write a heck of an article. Our B more guys stepped up today. They were terrific. Um, you know, we tried to get sticks going early, which we did. He got out on the break. We ran a couple plays for him. He had a huge size advantage. And then you add the length of his arms. He probably had a foot advantage on that kid. Um, he just wouldn't be denied. And um, we were able to break them down with penetration. We, we got in the lane a lot tonight, you know, whether it was through the post or through whatever. And they're a great box out team. One of the best things they do is box out, limit second chance points. And Sticks just wouldn't be denied. He, he was terrific and, and, and finished and played with strength. And, you know, we've been beating on Sticks, you know, for eight weeks trying to make him tougher. He's got extra weight. He got a, right before we left town, he got an extra weight workout. And it, you know, it showed up today. It takes time when your, when your nickname sticks. And um, but he was he he played with great toughness. On the right side, yes, sir. Justin Mathis with College Hoops Digest, coach. It took about I think till the under eight timeout for you guys to really kind of get kick started a little bit. Uh, what were some adjustments you really had to make from about that point on in the first half? Uh, you're talking about the first half. Yeah, um, we couldn't make a shot, and it, 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 it's the way, way it's been uh, for us. Um, you know, we missed we miss five layups and probably six wide-open threes, okay? Maybe eight wide-open threes. So early in the year, that might have affected our defense. It didn't affect our defense. That team's too good for us to, to 
you know, let down defensively. So we kept trying to guard. Uh, we knew it was going to come, and uh, we made some plays right before half. I think that gave us confidence going into halftime, and then we started the second half terrific, so, which we've done a lot this year. So it is what it is. Um, you know, it was, I watched their game against Temple. It was back and forth. One team would go on a run, another team would go on a run. It was kind of like that a little bit today. It's, it's college basketball, but my guys were resilient um, and really dialed in. We played well. We played well to win. Don't, don't think that, oh, we didn't play well. And No, no, we played really well to win this game. Time for one more, Coach. We'll go here in the aisle. Or two more, yes. Coach, uh, most of this team had never been in a tournament game. How do uh -huh. you get them prepared for that, and how do you get them ready to go through this type of battle? Well, obviously we didn't play well in our last game, so we've been pretty motivated practice-wise. And then everybody was predicting that we would lose, and that motivates you a little bit. You know, it's not fair to Belmont that – People don't know a lot about basketball or picking them to beat us. And so we were highly motivated, which in, in this time of year, you lose, you go home. So you, you, you stick together. And we stuck together. Our leadership for such a young team, our communication and belief uh, throughout that game was just it was tremendous. Final question here on the right. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Mark, to win a game when Anthony shoots three of 18, uh -huh. what does that say about the team and, and, and went with what, what other things did Anthony do? It, that, you know, helped. Yeah, so Anthony, I think, had five assists, one turnover, if I'm correct. Yeah, six assists, one turnover. So he helped there. He really defended McLean. I don't know what McLean ended up with. Uh, 19 points, but, man, he had to earn it. He got ten, seven at the line, okay? Um, so Anthony was terrific. And we all believe in Anthony. We think he's going to make his next one. He made a three. I ran a play for him, got another wide open three, and he missed it. So that's how much I believe in him, even though he was – at the time, probably 